I think I wrote something out so I didn't goof up when I talked to you guys. I better uh, better get it out. Um, thanks for coming. I know it's kind of short notice for you. And uh, it's a little earlier than I've seen many of you before. Um, first of all, I just wanted to um, say a couple things. Uh, as a um, former coach, this is a role that I, I really don't like. Um, uh, I hate to sit in judgment of other people and uh, really never envisioned uh, me being in a situation where I'd have to make a decision on somebody's employment opportunities, and, uh, but that's the nature of, of this business. Um, when I first took the job as interim athletic director, I uh, talked to the coaches, and I told them that I was hoping very much that we could make this thing work and uh, that I would do anything I could for them to try to help them be successful, whether it be talk to the team, talk to them about various issues that they were dealing with, um, try to deal with the, the public. And, um, and so I think they understood that I didn't want to make a change because change is hard, change is disruptive, um, uh, sometimes it's expensive. That's not the main issue here. But I wanted as much continuity as possible. Um, the uh, second week that I was in this position, I had the feeling that the uh, coaches wanted to have some benchmarks, would like to have some idea as to what they had to do. And so I uh, went down and we, we visited a while. And I said, look, um, at that point they were four and four. And I said, if you can win the next four games and go eight and four, there's no question that uh, things are, are going to be fine. If, on the other hand, you win three out of four and uh, play well, I think we can maybe make it work. Can't promise you, but I think we can make it work. If it's two out of four, it's going to be pretty tough because now you're break-even, and we haven't had many break-even seasons around here. And I said, if we have a losing season, I don't think there's any way that this will work. And so uh, the parameters, I think, were fairly clearly spelled out. Now, it isn't just a matter of wins and losses. It's, it's how you do it. Uh, if you're competitive and maybe you go six and six and you, you lose two or three more uh, by a field goal or a turnover, but if you get blown out two or three times, that's a little different. And so I, I said, you know, those are the things I can't predict at that point. And so um, I tried to make sure they were completely in the loop, knew what I was thinking. And it isn't all about winning and losing. Uh, believe me, I, I understand that. But if you lose a fairly large number of games by a significant margin and you have reasonably good players, which I think we have, then that means there may be some systemic issues, some underlying issues, uh, nothing major, nothing uh, you know, nothing that's uh, of any um, significant nature in terms of people not treating people right. I think the players were generally treated well. I don't think the, the coaches were incompetent. I think they know what they're doing. But there, there's, there was something missing, uh, evidently, as far as I was concerned. So anyway, this morning I met with the coaches. I met with Coach Callahan first and told him his contract was not being renewed. And I just finished uh, uh, interviewing and talking to every one of the assistants. We spent about 10 minutes together, each one of them. I reviewed their uh, contract, and uh, each assistant is uh, currently guaranteed a salary through uh, a year from January, next 13 months. If they remain employed here, uh, they're on the same contract. If they take a job somewhere else, then uh, we would no longer pay them uh, the amount that they're being paid by somebody else, but we would make up the difference if they were paid less during that period of time. And so uh, I've asked them all to help with recruiting, and they've agreed to do that. And uh, I think that they've acted very professionally. So um, I'm appreciative of the attitude that they had. I think they pretty much knew where they were as of yesterday. I don't know for sure, but I think they did. So anyway, that's uh, what happened. Let me just say one other thing. 
Uh, I try not to put any stipulations on anybody uh, that I would not have expected myself. Um, uh, I never, when I was coaching here, until maybe the last three or four years, felt that I could survive a losing season as the head coach. I did not think I would be employed. And I'll tell you where that came from. The, uh, the first four years, um, uh, we were 9-2-1 first, uh, beat Texas in the Cotton Bowl. Next year, 9-3, and three, beat Florida in the Sugar Bowl. The uh, third year, we were 10-2, and two, tied for the conference championship, lost to um, uh, Arizona State in the Fiesta Bowl. And then the fourth year, we ended up 9-3-1, and one, beat Texas Tech in the Astro Blue Bonnet Bowl. And that evening, one of the regents got me aside and said, uh, I'm glad you won tonight because if you hadn't, you'd been fired. And uh, I gathered there had been some serious conversation about my future at that point. So that was four years, uh, uh, about 77, 78% winning percentage. And, uh, and yet that was the nature of the deal here. And so, uh, uh, believe me, I, I would not expect anything uh, for, from any coach here that I hadn't experienced myself or didn't believe would be applied to me as the coach here. And uh, so, again, I, I really appreciate the effort that these guys put into it. They work very hard. Uh, they've done a good job recruiting, I think. I think there are reasonably good athletes in the program. It may not be overwhelming, but I think it's, it's good. And uh, I was really hoping yesterday we'd have a different outcome than we did. But uh, again, uh, what happened, happened. And uh, we can't go back and undo history. So I guess those are the only comments I have for you. And, and uh, I'm sure you'll have questions. And uh, I'll be glad to answer uh, the best I can. Uh, let, me, let me just to head something off. Uh, I told the coaches that I would not talk to any other coaches uh, until the season was over and until I'd made a decision and notified them. So I have not talked to any other coaches anywhere uh, at this point. Uh, there have been some coaches who may have been contacted and said, well, if Nebraska opens up, would you have an interest? And I honestly don't even know who those people are or, or what their answer has been. And uh, so that much has been done. But I. Uh, I told anybody involved in this thing that I didn't want to know. I wasn't going to be involved until I talked to Coach Callahan and made this thing official. Um, so next few days I'll try to talk to four or five people and uh, would like to make it, uh, move it along as fast as I can because recruiting is really critical at this time. But I can't guarantee anything. And... Uh, it's going to take uh, two parties to get this thing settled. And then, of course, that coach, whoever it may be, will interview these people here. We'll probably have some ideas of his own as to who he might want to hire. And uh, we'll get it settled as quickly as we can. So, uh, any, any questions? Coach, if a win yesterday, would Coach Callahan have kept his job? The scenario you laid out looks pretty mm -hmm. close. Well, what I told them is that I thought six wins would be really uphill. And I, as I sat there and watched it, I thought, you know, uh, these guys are playing pretty well. And uh, I, I think probably not, but I, I can't tell you exactly. I had not made up my mind for sure. And uh, so the, the Kansas game was a big turning point uh, because that was a, a big loss. And so when you look at it, I think there were five at least that were three touchdowns or more. And, uh, and so it's not just how many win, how many you lose, but it's kind of how you do it. And, uh, and so the Kansas loss was, was certainly a major factor, and I think the coaches knew it. I knew it when that happened. I was really pleased with the effort against Texas. Uh, the uh, K-State game obviously was, was, uh, was, uh, was very good, uh, probably even both sides of the ball. But uh, the turnovers were big factors, you know, against Kansas and also Colorado yesterday. Tom, when you were head coach here back in the Big Eight days, you were critical of athletic directors who fired coaches mm -hmm. after 
three or four seasons. Um, mm -hmm. Did Bill Callahan have enough time to develop his vision here? Uh, 